Hey, I'm Jerry with Old Soldier Ironworks, and we're going to talk about how to put your Freedom Fire together when you get it in the mail. All right, so now we're going to open the box and see what's inside. So, you're going to have a lot more tape than me. Um, so you open the box, what's inside is your talent. That's what we call it anyway. Um, and it's going to be cunningly kind of wrapped up in multiple with multiple pieces of pool noodles, which are valuable in the process, as you'll see as we unwrap the other ones. So, you gotta loosen your tails, lay it out on the box. Also in the box, you'll have a baggie with all your parts you need to screw in, or to bolt in. Now, the wrenches you'll need are 7 sixteenths. Just two 7 sixteenths, that's all you need. All right, and we'll go from there. So the talent, let me go ahead and remove these packing pieces. You're gonna have more packing pieces on these ends as well. Those will have to come off as well. All right, remove these. Okay, now what you have here is the talon. The talon is made up of the bottom foot, as we call it, because it looks like a foot. You're going to have your straps, which are which are going to be attached to it too. They should all be in there. If they're not, let us know. Um, this goes into the talon so that it can be adjusted for any size tire from a 32 all the way up to a 40. So I'll put that back in place. Drop your talons. This here, these are the uh, are the ratchet buckles, and they are permanently attached to these rings, and they attach to, of course, the tails, which wrap around your tire. You've got two of them. One, two. All right. Next, we're going to open up the pull assembly. Now, yours is going to come with a lot more tape as well. So. But to make it convenient for this display, I only have one on here. You pull up the cap. And of course, any paper that may be in there. Gently slide it out. Now you'll notice it's got pool uh, noodles, which keep it completely centered and suspended inside the tube without it touching anything during its entire transport to your home. So, again, you've got one pool noodle which is covering the, uh, the, the logo to protect it from being damaged in any way. Take that off. And there's the logo, Freedom Fire. All right. Okay, then you pop off the two ends. And inside, very gently, you don't want to scratch it up, shake the pole out, and there's your center pole. Now it's, uh, it also has a warning sticker for when you raise it up to fly your flag above your vehicle, it tells you not to drive faster than 15 miles an hour. So that's on there as well, but you want to re re reduce it back down to size. All right, so now we're going to go into putting it all together. All right, next we're going to turn the product over so the arms are facing down all right next it doesn't matter this is extended right now just that it's there with the freedom fire facing up and the arms facing down put it on top of the town and you line up the holes now if you can't see the hole Line the holes. Make sure the bottom hole is here, and underneath the, the Freedom Flyer hole is on the triangle. All right. Your first bolt is going to go. It's going to be a short bolt short bolt and it goes 
into the triangle through the bar. Okay, so as you can see, I have the bolt in place. It's the head point is in the back, right, right between the uh, arms in the triangle. It is the long bolt. This longer bolt, the all the bolts are quarter inch, by the way. This is the longer bolt. The longer bolt's going to go through this, through this, and through this. This foot needs to be put into roughly the place you want it to be when you're going to install it. But you can adjust it once you put it up against the tire later. So let's just get it on there with a washer in place. You put it through all three. Then you take your lock washer, put that underneath, and your bolt. I mean, you're not. You tighten them up. Okay? Now that you've got these on, you tighten them down, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, so you've tightened it up, back and forth, back and forth, um, between these two bolts, so they're both really tight and you have with a 7 16 wrench once again and once you've done that you have your basic freedom fire the way that works is that the top arm should be facing away from the main pole the bottom uh, foot should be facing the same direction as the arms the pole is on top on top of the talent and your logo is facing outward very important we've had people mix this all up and wonder why they don't work so you want the pole outside the tower. All right, next we're gonna put, uh, next we're gonna put your, uh, your anchor points for your um, carabiners on. You have two different ones. One has a regular bolt assembly and a regular nut, and the other has a wing nut. This is important. The wing nut is on the bottom because when you're raising and lowering the flagpole, you're going to want, you're, this is the only thing that comes out. And you're going to want to be able to do it with the ease of a thumb bolt when you're wearing your bikini. All right, so let's go do this. So, next is the bottom bolt. This is the one that goes either here or here, depending on how tall you want the Freedom Flyer. As shown in our other video, our demonstration video when it was installed on the Jeep. You can raise this pole up all this way to where you use this hole. And the bottom of your flag is attached to here, the top of your flag is attached to here, and this is flying well and above your Jeep. And uh, the flag is clearing the top of your Jeep. Or, which is where it's going to be most of the time, because you only do this when it's parked, otherwise you're going to bend your pole and you have to buy a new one and damage your flag. So you lower it down and you put it in this position down here. Now you're going to wait till you feel it. It should go all the way down to where it touches that bottom bolt. And then you just adjust it a little bit and it'll fit right in place. Okay. Next, we put on the bottom washer. All right, guys, that's how it's done. From the box to in your hands, next, put it on your tire. Now you can get this fire product at oldcoldrawworks.com. You can get it on Etsy at the Freedom Fire store. You can join us on Facebook at the at Freedom Fire. We would love to have you. Thank you very much, and let's get those flags flying.